seating capacity is 65,000 at Ford Field, and we are right around that number today. A good crowd on hand and seemingly ready to go in the Motor City. Both teams emerging from the Ford Field tunnels just a short time ago. And, of course, the loudest cheers were reserved for the hometown Lions. They're set to go as they will match up with the Carolina Panthers. upon us we've got the gift of the nfl as we're underway here in week 16 a fairly short kick from the 14 and they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30 32 now. Here's first and 10. Throw left side complete. That's Ford. Five yards on the game's first play. Second down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Second and five now from the 37. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's run down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. to throw that's caught by the big tight end TJ Hawkinson a lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football but not this guy he's a refined route runner makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Now a give right side, Mitchell, and he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I really like what he did there because he took his practice work and converted it to game action because he used his hands, got off the block, worked laterally and stayed to the outside. And finished off the runner for a loss. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Back to throw. And he's got his target, Harris. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And in for the Lions, touchdown. A great effort there. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Lions are going to take the first quarter lead. Next 
extra point by Carlson up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. This will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. On first and 10, it's Wilson. And he's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. And they'll use him out in the backfield and sometimes quite a bit. They're just trying to get him touches any way they can. Four catches a week ago, there's another one right there. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Carolina. Well, like so many wide receivers, he is a threat with the ball in his hands, and he's able to do his damage here after the catch. And that should serve as a big warning to this defense. They know now that they have to stick close to these receivers because they have the ability to break games wide open after the catch. And that one wound up in the end zone. And you can see the distance traveled there after the catch on the next-gen stats. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT. And that will tie our score here this opening quarter of play. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And they, if you just look at this game, Charles, on paper, they've got the edge, no doubt. They're hanging around the top of the NFC. On the other side, you got a squad that's towards the bottom of the NFC. But when we mentioned that to the coaches, they were having no part of it. Yeah, and I like how you said when we mentioned it. In fact, I mentioned it, and I upset them a little bit, didn't I? Because they wanted no part of that one. And I was reminded, like a five-year-old, this is the NFL. Any given Sunday, anything can happen. They are guarding against the upset. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. little surprise here on third and one. They'll drop to throw. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. The ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one.
coming to you from the venue that hosted the Super Bowl back in February of 06. Welcome to Ford Field in downtown Detroit. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Ford Field tunnels, and the noise level in this place just about off the charts. They are set for football as the Lions get ready to do battle with the Carolina Panthers. get a timeout called on the defensive side of the ball by the Panthers. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. They'll run on first down. Mitchell. And he's got Rome. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Pretty explosive run on that inside handoff, and when you're a runner of his caliber, you don't need a big crease. You really don't, but also what we're seeing is an offensive line that's taking charge at the point of attack, aren't we? Not only are they controlling the initial contact, they're actually utilizing what they call the strain the next two to three seconds to continue to move people. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback. And no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down. Stopped at the Panthers 33. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. They'll set up to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn. There he goes, right side. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. Zane Gonzalez on for the extra point. And this will be good to give the Panthers a 7 to nothing lead. Panthers 7, Lions nothing. Zane Gonzalez set to kick off. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick 6. And now the kick is away. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right? Good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last, that didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. That will throw here to his running back. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. From Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. 
to the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. Well, they try to get him into space coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Left sideline, a dive, and it looks like he's got it. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When you're a player of his stature, you don't just circle the games on your team's calendar. You circle, circle the Pro Bowl? <laughs> without a doubt. That's a game that you just figure you're going to be in each and every year. That's because of catches like that. That's why he goes. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have to have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Second and ten. They'll look to throw again. Checks this one down. It's Mitchell. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. He needed three, he got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. to throw he's got his man T.J. Hawkinson touchdown T.J. Hawkinson with touchdown number seven on the year and the Lions are an extra point away from tying this thing up extra point by Carlson up and good and that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play so I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. <laughs> Throwing now, Wilson on first down. This is Miller, complete. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for. One of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. So a third and ten, and defensively, a dime look. Six DBs. Wilson. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. This is 
going to be the matchup to watch out on the perimeter, and it won't be the last time these two go at it. Both of them believe they are the superior. In this case, the win goes to the defense. This is taken at about the 14. A big boot that time, 57 yards the official distance. And the Lions will take over. Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. What's that? Touchdown, Detroit. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. 14 7. Setting out to kick this one away, and off it goes. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. As the season winds down and you look at them in totality, you know, the offense has struggled. The defense has been pretty good, so I would imagine the changes this offseason may be more on the offensive side of the ball. And this is where we always hear the term complimentary football because, as you noted, the defense has played well enough for them to win games, and the offense has held them back. So they've got to reward that defense by improving on offense. I don't know if you make a change of quarterback, running back, tight end. It doesn't matter. Get better players better system so they can play to the standards of the defense and the win column will result. On second and nine, Wilson. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off at the 40. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man-to-man? -man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. First down, it's Mitchell. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Four yards on the big up. Second and six. At the Panthers, 19 yard line. Through one corner, 14 7, our score. Now a second down and six. Back to throw here. Got his man complete over the middle. It's four. And the Lions are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. Mitchell, and he'll get into the end zone, touchdown Detroit, a great play there, his ninth touchdown of the season, and the Lions are able to grow their lead, extra point by Carlson, up and good, and it's now 21-7, to the kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. 
And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And not a good return at all. Down inside the 10, all the way back at the 7. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And Charles, you look at this defense, they were a very loose group coming into the week, knowing they kind of had the upper hand going into this one, taking on a team that hasn't won in a month and a half. And that works well for you if you establish your dominance early in the game against a team that's struggling. But if somehow they fashion some plays together early, knock them back on their heels, that looseness can be used against them. Then they're trying to scramble to make sure they get their game right. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Wilson. Open man is Miller. He's got it. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they're having panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise, and start to put together some drives. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out. And made a really and he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 45. And he's free going down the left side. And it's a foot race. And he will bring it back. An interception return for the Lions touchdown. Carlson on for the PAT. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And fresh off the pick six. They've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball, He's got to be like when we talk about the defensive backs who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, right back out there doing the things that he does best and knowing that taking care of the ball is paramount. Here's his opportunity. It comes back to those defensive backs for the formal D, former DB, right? I don't know where that comes from. It yeah. just kind of emerges out of me for some it's reason. It's deep in there, right? <laughs> ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now Wilson, again he finds more, and he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackled him for a loss. Third down, Wilson. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off near the 42. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, 
because well, here we are in December. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each other. And in for the Lions, touchdown! A great effort there. His 10th touchdown this season, second of the game. And the Lions continue to pull away here in this first half. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And a route is on here in this first half. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now Wilson. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 39. And they will finally stop him, but a great return. Gets that football all the way down to the 16-yard line. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Hands it off out of the gun. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. I think you mentioned in the opening drive that these guys needed to establish the run, protect the young QB. I actually wrote that down, believe it or not. So how would you assess things so far? I'm kind of touched that you actually wrote something like that down. <laughs> I appreciate that, partner. But I do think they've been able to do that. Maybe not as effectively as they've wanted to, but I think we'll see more of as this game goes along because they want to continue to take care of that young QB. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Page. And the Lions are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. They'll look to throw here. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Second and six. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. Well, the defensive guys won't be real happy because there won't be a sack on this play because he did get back to the line of scrimmage. But what a job they did overall. Hemmed him in and gave him nowhere to go with the football. Now, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Now back to throw. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Brian Burns has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. A 27-yard attempt. The kick by Carlson is good. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for it. You're exactly right about that. And this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision-making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. 
And with a score where it is, even though I think they'd love to get back to the locker room, they may be forced to try and get something out of this drive. And some room to maneuver. And they finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 34. A big play there just before halftime. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. Now Wilson on first down. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. This from 44 yards out, left hash. Gonzalez's kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Panthers going to get the football first, trailing here as well as we resume play in the second half. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they have a mountainous deficit looming in front of them. It was really, Charles, a disaster in the first half. So where do they go from here? Well, first thing they have to remember is that what's done is done, and there's no going back. And now you have to play this drive by drive. Obviously, come back in this spot, pretty unlikely. But you just have to go out, take pride in your work, and try and put something together here in the second half. Here's Wilson. Buying time, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Julian Okwara in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. And with a third and 14, we have six defensive backs out there now defensively. Now it's Wilson. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. But a nice throw there for a good game and a first down. On first down, Wilson. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two at the 46-yard line. Only needing two yards on second down. A handoff left, McCaffrey. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Throwing is Wilson. Going up top for Miller. And my goodness, another interception. Picked by Jeff Okuda. And the Lions are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. Now I'm starting to wonder, Charles, if five interceptions, is that the last that we've seen of him? Well, I think that a lot of people hope that's the last they've seen of him in this game, probably including himself. If this were baseball, the manager would have been at the mound already and asked for the ball, and he'd be in there getting a shower. But in football, you might have to go stand on the sideline and watch the rest of it and see if your backup can do any better. 
A big play there on the catch and run. Just more of the same there, partner. Guys have just been running free in the secondary this entire game. No pass rush. A lot of passes completed. Been an easy day for them. Much more room to operate under after the big play. Here's first and ten. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A big play that time through the air. 38 yards. Well, make that now two completions for him on this drive. And these aren't ordinary completions. They're big ones. Yeah, these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other and not in a good way. Oftentimes pointing fingers. Hey, who's got it? Someone cover it. That type of indecision can open up to even more big plays. Back to throw now on first down. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. Back to throw again. He gets it complete to Harris. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn upfield and gain any yardage. And he's got his target, Harris. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. A lot of deflated looks on that defense. It seems like they just could not find a way to get a key stop on third down. Here's another conversion. And now this offense, they're in a position to go up even further as they've got it first and goal. To the right side, it's caught by Mitchell. Down at the two. Broke through first contact, but ultimately stopped shy of the goal line. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. A great play there. His second TD of the game and 16th on the season. And the Lions go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Extra point by Carlson. Up and good. And the lead will swell by one more. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Wilson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. And it's third down. Here's Wilson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Marshall. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Here's the Panthers' punter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Looking up into the roof, and he muffs it. It's loose. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. I know there's no magnet in the ball, but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it. He loses it. Somehow, a ball finds its way back to him. Atone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now.
Now a whistle and I think a penalty here for a delay. No, they're going to say timeout. They did get the timeout in time. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Here's second and ten. Now a first carry for their fullback. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, Pulled him with the inside run. They'll run on first down. Swift. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? On second down, Swift. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially, no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. 
Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature in the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. The Lions on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and eight. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. That will be their third and final stoppage as they'll only have the two-minute warning now remaining. Give to the fullback on the dive. Four yards on the pick up there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. Now the Panthers are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. The kick by Carlson is good. And they're well on their way now as the lead grows even larger. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. And Charles, with that completion, I'm told that puts him over 3,000 yards passing now on the campaign. And Brandon, nowadays your leader's usually closer to 5,000 yards on the year, but still 3,000 yards, a good season. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw pulled in by Marshall. Three yards the game there, second down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. On second down, McCaffrey. McCaffrey with a first down and more. 20! And somewhat of a measure of revenge as he's in for the touchdown, but they still trail big time. He'll take it, but he won't be able to smile about it. Gonzalez to add the PAT. And they make the score a little bit more respectable here in our final quarter of play. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. Now it looks like he'll throw here. He finds his man complete. That's Page. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Carter, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff 
and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. Totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And they're out of timeouts, remember, so this is going to have to be a delay. So that'll back them up five. The delay of game backs them up five, first and 15. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. set up to throw he finds his man complete it's four and they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 44 yard line and he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit now they look to him again he picks up the first yeah I can hear everyone saying well why don't you cover him double him triple him do what you have to do but sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area he certainly looks to be in that groove right now And the Lions will take the knee here with victory in the cards. time and that should just about do it so this offense which was humming all game ends on a negative play we didn't see many of those as he takes the knee but what an explosion and a good win can we call it a negative positive play there you go okay, an oxymoron to end the ball game <laughs> and they can watch the clock go down and celebrate the victory And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for Detroit, it's an important win for their playoff hopes as they hit the 10-win mark now at 10-5. and five. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Chicago Bears. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, the slide continues as they drop now to 3-12. And, and they'll try to rebound next week on the road in Washington.